video on how to embed a stopwatch or a countdown timer or an alarm clock or something onto a page in Canvas. So if you're on your uh, Canvas site, you can click on Pages on the left side. You can uh, view all pages. You can click plus page. Let's just make a page. So I'm going to say um, stopwatch page. You can call it anything you want. It doesn't matter. Any kind of page this will work with. Okay, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and save it just like it is, just a blank page. Okay, and then we'll edit it. And then what we need to do is we need to go get code um, to get a stopwatch. So we're going to go to uh, vclock.com. Probably can't see that quite, quite right, but vclock.com. I'll put the link in the YouTube video. And uh, over here you have an alarm clock, you have a timer, um, you have stopwatch, you have uh, time, different times in different uh, locations around the world. You can embed a whole bunch of these onto a page if you were in your social studies class or something. Um, you can pick any one you want. I'm going to click the stopwatch and um, you can come down and you get embed code. And if you click like a timer, you got some other options. You can edit a timer um, down to a certain time. There's um, certain uh, alarms that go off. You can play around with this. Is very um, easy to understand in here, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time with that. But I'm just going to get the stopwatch. I'm going to come down. I'm going to click the embed button. So you click the embed, and you're going to get this code. This is HTML code. It's not too scary. It's called I an iframe. There's a, a width and a height. Width always comes first. The width is 475 pixels, and the height is 250 pixels. And you can play around with that and make that different if you'd like. But really, all you need to do is grab that code and, and copy it. OK. Once you have your code, um, you go back to your page. And when we're on here, um, we're going to try to go into an HTML editor. And the way I go into it is I click this little symbol right here, which are little HTML tags. Okay, So if I click that, that's going to go into the, the code of this, which normally people don't really want to go into. And it seems scary, but there's a lot of stuff you can do in here. If you can get embed code anywhere, you can, you can embed it in here. And I'm going to paste it in. So I paste that embed code in. And if you click uh, this switch back to the um, editor, you'll see that there is a stopwatch in there. And um, so let's see, can I center align it? Yeah, I can center align it. OK, and I'm going to go ahead and click Save. OK, so there's your stopwatch page. And you can have this anywhere on Canvas. and. And if they click on it, it, it actually works in here. You can do laps. So you're going to want to probably make this a little bit bigger so you see the laps. So how can I do that? Well, I'm going to come in here and edit. I'm going to go back to the editor. And I'm going to make this a lot bigger. I'm going to, it'd be nice to probably keep the ratio about the same, but I'm going to do um, 700. And I'm going to do 500 height and see what that does. Click this back. You can kind of see what it's going to look like. OK, and I'm going to go and I'm going to save it. OK, if I start now and I do a lap, there we go. Do another lap, do another lap, and see it, put, it starts to put a scroll bar on there so I can do it. Stop it, reset it. OK, so you can have a lot of fun with that. There's other timers and there's other things that you can try to embed.